Understanding, it's sink or swim, navigating challenges in English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of English idioms and phrases. Today, we're diving into a very interesting expression. It's sink or swim. This phrase is not only common in English conversations but also carries a deep meaning about handling life's challenges. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery of this phrase together. It's sink or swim has its roots in a very literal scenario, being in water. Imagine you're in the middle of the ocean. You have two choices. Either you swim to save yourself, or you sink in well. The outcome isn't great. This phrase came to be used metaphorically to describe situations where someone must either succeed by their own efforts or fail completely. It's often used in contexts where there is no middle ground or help available. In modern times, the phrase is used to describe situations where someone is left to succeed or fail on their own. For example, in a new job, if you're thrown into work without much training, you might say, it was sink or swim when I started my new job. It emphasizes the pressure to succeed under challenging conditions. Another example could be a student studying abroad alone. They might say, adjusting to a new country was a sink or swim situation. This highlights the necessity to adapt quickly to survive or thrive in a new environment. While, it's sink or swim, is the most common form, you might also hear variations like, sink or swim situation, or, do or die. These variations carry the same sense of urgency and necessity for immediate success without support. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, it's sink or swim. We hope you found this exploration both enlightening and enjoyable. This phrase, like many in the English language, paints a vivid picture of the challenges we sometimes face in life. Remember, understanding these phrases not only improves your language skills but also gives you insight into the culture and thought processes of native speakers. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.